Hi Capricorn! Welcome to your mid-November 2020 general love reading. This is your Girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Capricorn, whenever you're guided to watch this video, I hope you receive this message with the love and light I'm sending you at this time. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement in the sign of Capricorn. This will not resonate with every Capricorn that watches this video. And not every message in this reading may be for you, Capricorn, as this is a general general reading. <laughs> Please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Capricorn. Who wouldn't be? I want to remind Capricorn and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where the roles are flipped and reversed, and that's okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, should you feel like that resonates with your situation the most. Finally, before I get into the reading, I do want to mention super quickly that this is your last chance to enter my 200k giveaway, celebrating the fact that I've reached 200,000 subscribers. I can hardly believe it, and it's all because of you guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support of myself and the channel, and I want to give back. So I'm giving away to a couple of lucky subscribers, tarot decks, candles, crystal sets, and all that good stuff. If you're interested in entering the 200k giveaway, just open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there. This is your last chance. Alright Capricorn, let's go ahead and get started. Because I dropped that rose quartz kind of quickly, unsuspectedly, um, and I gotta be honest Capricorn, I've had to restart this portion of your reading a couple times because I felt a lot of anxiety, I felt this energy that was trying to come in, dictate the show and run things. I feel as if you drop someone and someone's really not happy with that. That's just a small message for someone. Let's see what the cards have to say. Hopefully I'll be picking up on a different energy. But man, yeah, I'm feeling uh, a heaviness from someone that is not happy about where things have ended up with you, Capricorn. But let's go ahead and tune in. Alright, so Capricorn, I'm going to tune into an energy that is in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. I'm going to ask how they feel about you at this time, what they think about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, what they like about the connection that they have with you and what they don't like about it, and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection with you. Okay, so that could have just been a small message in the beginning for someone who needed to know that someone's a bit salty about someone leaving a connection. But I feel, and we'll get all the cards out before I really speak, but this is a different energy that I'm kind of picking up on Capricorn. Yeah. And I feel that some of you, that was an ex I was picking up on, but there's someone new in your life. It could be a Cancer as the Chariot's here, a Sagittarius as I also feel Sagittarius energy with that card. You can have those signs in your deck, but someone who's a lot more grounded, someone who is a lot more stable, someone who really is set, they're go-getters, they imagine what they want with you Capricorn, and they have a plan. They have a plan to move things forward. And they see stability within you too. They see that you're not the one to mess with. You're not the one to deal with any BS. Anything that isn't coming into fruition the way you like to see it, you are quick to cut it. And quite honestly, Capricorn, they're the same way. I'm hearing business oriented. They're definitely business oriented. They don't like to you know, mess around. And they're hoping, yeah, King of Pentacles here, and they're hoping that you're the same and that you feel the same and that you guys 
can move forward with this because they feel very strongly for you, Capricorn. Oh yeah, at the bottom of the deck we have temperance, Sagittarius energy. But for me as a reader, I also feel Libra energy with temperance. You could have those signs in your chart. You could be dealing with one of those signs. Things had been working in the background. I do feel that there is divine timing that's at work in this connection between you and another person. I feel as if you guys are getting to know each other. I feel as if you've met, I'm hearing around March, um, around that time. And since then, you guys have really been feeling each other out and taking things slowly. And I feel in the past that was needed for the both of you. Some of you, like whatever energy that I was picking up on before I even tuned in to the cards, like some of you dropped or left someone that was really toxic, really unhealthy, really unstable. So, you know, there was time needed to heal. There was time needed to take things slow. And I feel as if this person was also in that same mindset. The beautiful thing I feel with you, with, um, you two in particular is that you guys mirror each other very nicely. You complement each other very nicely. And I feel as if the longer you guys have spent getting to know each other, the more you have come to understand that. I do feel angelic presence around you, Capricorn, protecting you. And I feel that there has been a lesson that you learned from someone in your past that just wasn't right for you. I do feel karmic energy around that. But that has been healed. That has been signed. And now, whoever this new energy is that you've recently met, it could have been at work, definitely with the pentacles I'm seeing here. Um, it could just be that you guys work in the same career field. You guys have similar goals, um, worked on similar projects with each other. They really see that this can go somewhere with you, Capricorn. And they're ready to take it at whatever level you need to take it at and vice versa. I feel that someone um, could be a bartender. You guys could have met at a bar for some, I'm feeling as well. But yeah, I, I feel that they're ready to move forward when you're ready to. They're ready to take it as fast or as slow. I feel that they're very sexually dynamic too. Um, they could go, you know, with the quick marathon rounds or they can take it for hours. It's really like, I'm feeling strong cancer energy here. Like they really just want to please you. They really feel out your energy and want to do what's best for the connection, but mainly for you. They don't want to screw this up. They don't want to mess this up. And I'm hearing this is everything you've been waiting for. So some of you, I feel like you've been single for a while or just went time and time again in these failing connections, but this is something new. This is something you haven't quite experienced yet. Um, this is a small message for someone out there, not for everyone, but there's someone that likes to wear strappy heels that go all the way up the leg. Um, and for others, I do feel someone has handcuffs, okay? I don't know if that's part of their profession, like they're a cop or something, or they have a freaky side that you may be surprised at once you get to know Capricorn. They have handcuffs in their drawer, nightstand. Anyway, let's get into this. Capricorn, how they feel about you, the chariot, cancer energy, could also be Sagittarius energy. Man, they feel like things, they're, like this could go somewhere with you. They love it when you're on top. They love being with you when you can be with each other, with the chariot, it could indicate um, a distance between the two of you, but it's like a driving distance. Um, it could be a few hours between the two of you. But once you're together, the distance doesn't matter. You guys click. Someone could also be in the military. But I feel more so than anything that it's like a very strategical mind this person has. They want success with you. They want victory with you, Capricorn. And they're going about it in a very strategical way. When you're around each other, yeah, they'll give you all the love and pleasure that you want. But when you're apart, they want to keep it cool, calm, and collected. And it's not because they're disinterested. It's because they don't want to make it seem like they're falling too fast. 
because the chariot is go, go, go. You know, there are, I don't know, I'm picking up on big time businessman or businesswoman here. Um, what I feel also with this card, Capricorn, is a want to pursue you, but they're waiting for the go from you. They're waiting for the green light from you. They're waiting for the confirmation from you. And once that confirmation is given, they're going to show you everything that's up their sleeve. I don't think this person is very much someone to doubt or someone to sidestep. They're very direct. You know, and maybe it takes them a bit of time before they fully open up, but they wouldn't waste their time with someone that they don't feel a connection with. It's very obvious when this person doesn't feel a connection. So if some of you are doubting if this person feels some type of way about you, it's as simple as if they hit you up, if they express interest, if they're wondering how you're doing, um, that's definitely confirmation that they're into you. What they think about you is the world card, Capricorn. Um, fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Uh, some of you could come from different cultures, different backgrounds, different ethnicities. That's what the world card can indicate sometimes. Some of you met online or you like talk to each other through online a lot, through the phone, through computer, um, emails, or just like Skypes, FaceTimes type of thing for some of you. Um, but Capricorn, they only see you. There's no other competition you have to worry about. They feel like they can have this completion, this success, this ultimate goal with you. You are the center of their mind's eye. You know, they get like, and what I mean by that is that they're only focused on you. Their goal is you. Um, I also feel that this person, they're opening some sort of their third eye chakra when they met you. Like they visualize being with you, seeing where things can go with you. And that is activating the cord that's between the two of you that they want to keep this going. They don't want this to end. Some of you could have fire in your chart. Um, Cause I'm seeing in this picture, this woman that has fire in her hand, you bring about a passion within them that no one else can. And they want this completion with you. They want the success with you. What they like the most about you, Seven of Pentacles, Taurus energy. You are someone, see, like, someone is growing their crop, growing their worth, and is only looking for others that will give that worth, give that value, or will help the growth of an individual. Anyone else that comes in that is trying to take, who is trying to deplete, will be cut. You see that right there? Will be cut. And they know that about you, Capricorn. They know you're someone not to mess with. They know you're someone who's serious. They know you're someone who's goal-oriented, goal-minded, and you want something specific. And that boss mentality, really, they find it sexy. Someone really loves your thighs, the back of your thighs, that ass, okay? Um, or someone's definitely an ass person. And you may not even have like the biggest ass in the world or anything, or this person doesn't per se, but it's a nice one, you know? It's a nice one. But overall, Capricorn, you're someone that is stable, grounded, and real. And anyone that doesn't match that energy, they know what time it is. And you'll n let them know it too. And maybe that's why, you know, they're waiting for the confirmation from you, Capricorn. Because they kind of know in some sort of way that they're so interested in you, they know you're running the show. But I don't feel like they'll ever tell you this. Especially if they're some sort of boss of yours, some sort of manager of yours for some of you. Or if this person, I'm picking up an age difference, maybe a bit older than you, where you're older than them. Um, but you definitely have the upper hand in this Capricorn, whether you realize this or not, is what I feel with the Seven of Pentacles. You ultimately decide if this is what you want to go with. They already made the decision about you. 
what they don't like about you. Three of Wands energy. Aries energy. So what I feel with this, Capricorn. Um, so for some of you, there's still a third energy hanging around your energetic field. And that was, may have been what I was picking up earlier. Of someone who you may still look back upon. You may still have a connection with. When they text you, you may reply back. And this person just feels like you can do better. Or they can do better. You know, like you don't deserve them. You deserve me and what I can give you. Um, but others of you, if that's not what resonates a lot, it's that they may find the second that you are disinterested, like you become disinterested or something else comes into your vision that is more appealing, you'll be quick to just forget about them, that you're on to the next, that you are quick to chop the block. You know what I mean? Um, and that's something that kind of scares them. Uh, this is so weird. When I said chop the block, I saw someone cutting something and they cut their finger. Um, you could have recently cut their finger or they may have. I'm sorry if that happened. It's not, it doesn't feel like it's anything super serious, but there could be a scar from that as well. Or like someone has a band-aid on their finger from a cut. I don't know. That was so random, but it could be mean for something for someone. But yeah, at the end of the day, you know, once you're out of, once someone's out of your vision, it's hard to get back your interest. And that's what scares them. What they like the most about this connection, Capricorn, Knight of Cups, Pisces energy. That, you know what? Things are moving sl like smoothly. Not super fast like the Knight of Wands or the Knight of Swords, but you guys are feeling each other. And the more that you guys are around each other, the more it's making someone else feel like they can really pursue this, that this is something that they're really feeling out and that they really like. Someone could have a white car. Um, that's just for someone. And also someone likes to wear slides around the house. Or like slides when they go to the grocery shop, like any sort of like short-term <laughs> task they have to do, it's like they get the slides on and they're out. Even slides with socks too. But yeah, they, they feel like this is something that, I don't know, Capricorn, it's almost as if day by day, as long as you guys are interacting with each other, the more they're feeling you. I wouldn't say it's full on falling in love yet, but they're definitely feeling you. But what they don't like about the connection, Four of Pentacles energy, Capricorn energy. Capricorn, I feel as if some of you, they feel like you're still a bit guarded. You're still a bit closed off. And I feel that this is because of whatever you've been through with someone recently in your past. You could have even broken up with someone in 2020, met this new person in 2020 as well, and like you're still trying to heal from that situation with that um, temperance card. One second, Capricorn. Oh, taking a sip of my tea. You may be drinking tea as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, they do feel that you're a bit guarded, a bit closed off. And the thing is that they're waiting on you to give the go. I know that may not be fair, and if it's something that they feel, they should just speak on it. But they really don't know how you feel yet, Capricorn. Also, I feel if you guys work together, they're afraid that there may be some sort of a it may be inappropriate should they, you know, really move forward with everything that they want to move forward with you. But I gotta say, for a lot of you, they feel that you're a bit closed off. Their highest hopes, Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. So, for those of you that they feel a bit that you're closed off protecting yourself. They hope that you can break free from this. And again, with the um, the temperance card, I feel as if they will wait as long as they need to. There really is no rush, but they do want to get things moving because they are so excited about the connection that they have with you. Let's clarify this Eight of Swords here. 
But also I gotta say, with any sort of bad net energy around you that's still in your energetic field, um, I feel as if you need to clear yourself from that Capricorn. And I feel this may be confirmation for you. It's like you're having a really, really great day. And then all of a sudden you feel like this heaviness, this anxiety, this stress, and you start thinking of like a certain person or you start thinking of like that energy and then that a certain person texts you that's not in your highest good. That's confirmation that that person's energy is still very, very much a part of your energetic field and you may need to do some cleansing of that. But let's go ahead and see. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Oh, four of Wands. They want you to know it's safe to love. Aries energy, they want you to know that you can have this four of wands with them, that they won't disappoint you, that they won't hurt you, that they do have feelings for you. And they want this so bad. Let's keep on going. Oh, sorry, I had a quick look under the bottom of the deck, but six of cups, they're still worried if you're still connected to someone from your past. It could be that you guys are waiting on a divorce as well, or someone is. Knight of Wands, so Sagittarius energy here with King of Swords. Yeah, they almost feel like Capricorn, you may be worried that this person is just a player or that they're just like, you know, it may just be spontaneous, nothing that's enduring because they want the Four of Wands or you want the Four of Wands. But someone needs to know that this person is very, very excited and they're very honest and very truthful as well. And maybe they're charm their confidence with you and other people in general is kind of what's making you think like hmm i don't know if this person's trustworthy because maybe you've dealt with players in the past and with the king of swords at the bottom of the deck this person is honest if you were to ask i feel like they will give you an honest answer but you have to be straight up right deepest fears king of pentacles interesting taurus energy so what I feel about this is that things will just be business between the two of you, especially if you work with each other, that it's just about the bag, about the coin, keeping things professional. But the hard thing is that they'll always visualize you two being together, hooking up with each other, uh, making love with each other. That will run through their mind, but they have to keep it business oriented. Um, but others of you, it could be that you may go back to someone, commit to someone else. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles as well, Capricorn. Why is the King of Pentacles in their deepest fears? Ten of Swords. You're looking to stay single. Or that for now, you're not looking to be in a relationship because you're still looking to heal yourself. And maybe you may just decide that this person isn't the one. Despite the chemistry, despite you know the feelings that they have for you, you're still doing what's right for you and you have to do... Um, you know, go forward with what makes you feel stable and secure. And maybe they feel that you may never open up. But yeah, Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. They really want this with you. They want to take you out, take you on dates, start dating you and seeing what this can go with you. But others are afraid that you're going back to an ex. I gotta say it. For the likely outcome of this situation, Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find a link to Vimeo. But before we go, I will pull a card from the Romance Angels deck as always. And I'm going to ask Spirit for Spirit to further clarify their feelings towards you that they may have not communicated yet. There it is. Ooh, Capricorn calling in your soulmate. They're manifesting you. They want you. They they have visualizations of you, as I was saying. They've been praying. They've been affirming that this could be going somewhere that they can see with you. And heart-to-heart -heart conversations. They want to talk. They want to express their feelings with you. But again, I feel as if they're waiting for you to give that green light, to give that confirmation. And maybe you guys are just both waiting on each other to give that green light. Someone's got to do it if it has to go somewhere, either you or the other person. But know, Capricorn, that they're calling you in. They want this with you bad. If you've been guessing or doubting it, don't. Everything's in divine timing here. 
and you guys are just really feeling each other out. But perhaps it's time to take that next step. We'll go ahead and see in the extended reading. So again, if you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the rules of the entry. Or, <laughs> you'll find the link to Vimeo there. If this is where we depart Capricorn, I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please let me know. Drop a comment below. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. I love you Capricorn. Very much. And I'll see you next time. Take care, Capricorn.